So this is my first time in Northern Ireland, first time in Belfast. I'm doing the journey that my uncle would have made some 75 years ago. Keen to learn more about him and his life and sadly his death. So I'm now on my way to the uh, Ulster Rifles Regimental Museum. Um, they have the war record of the regiment uh, there and I'm hoping that they'll be able to give me some more answers. The first record we have of him, he came from the General Service Corps which meant he joined up when the war broke out. Uh, so then he was he came into the first battalion of the Royal Ulster Rifles. Now at that time the first battalion was airborne, so their their name is the first airborne battalion Royal Ulster Rifles. Uh, he went in on D Day um, with C Company uh, at about nine about nine thirty in the evening of the of the sixth of June. So their landing zone was just north of Ranville. So he was part of what is known as 6th Airborne Division and he was part of 6th Air Landing Brigade in, in Horsa Gliders. So when they landed, uh, then there, if you imagine, if you look at the battlefield here, uh, you can see these are the major, major landings you all hear about, Sword Beach, you know, Gold, Omaha, going right across. The two flanks of, of the whole um, invasion were uh, supported by airborne troops. Now, the problem we do have with his, with his death is he's buried far away from where the battalion was at the time. The battalion was away down here, virtually parallel with Khan, mm -hmm. when he died. Now, he died in a hospital and was temporarily buried, then reburied again. And he died of wounds. So we can only assume until you get the service record that he was actually wounded and moved back to the hospital where he died of wounds and was buried. All the lads that are recorded on his, on that day, all died of wounds in that area and were buried in a temporary graveyard. So very, very little we can tell you about what he was doing other than they, they were assaulting down towards this flank of, of um, uh, of Khan, so it's possible he's been wounded between the 6th of June and his death. It's, it's hard to say. Months later, yeah. Now, we, we will supply you with the paperwork to apply for, his, for his service record in Glasgow. Yeah. On that, we'll have more detail. Right. Right. And what they would have did in, in them days was they would have moved them back to a concentration post. Once they got them in the hospital and stabilised, they shipped them straight back to the, the UK. Right. So a lot of lads died on the way back. Mm. You know, if they weren't killed right away or died right away, if they got to a hospital, mm. he must have been too far gone for the day. Do we know anything about the operation he was engaged in on, on, on D-Day? Yes, on D-Day. Well, well their, their, um, their objective was to land in um, uh, just north of Ranville. So, uh, earlier in the morning, the Lakes of Pegasus Bridge was taken very early by the assault, yeah. uh, the assault lads. The main division didn't come in that evening. So the main division landed right across north of Ranville, yeah. which is here. Yeah. So if you imagine, this is Pegasus Bridge. Mm. So it was taken very early yeah. to stop reinforcements coming up here. So there was only a small detachment of, of the oxen box here. Mm. Parachute, paratroopers landed and they also took out um, the Merville Battery. Yeah, this uh, was the night before. D -Day, this this, this yeah. was the night. Yeah. This was the morning of D-Day. Yes. So, yeah, so twelve thirty, yeah, they were yeah. on their way. Yeah, yeah. So you had your pathfinders went in. Yeah. Then you had your assault troops and your paratroopers dropped to take out the Merville Battery and to capture the and the Gliderborn lads mm. to take out uh, Pegasus Bridge. 
and to protect that until the lands come in the next morning. I can only surmise, but I would assume that he died in the hospital, was buried in the temporary cemetery. Mm -hmm. Then when the cemetery was, re was done, he was then exhumed with anybody else that died, yeah. with these lads here, and then mm -hmm. put into a proper grave. Yeah, he's a source of great uh, curiosity, but also great pride because, you know, this was a, a, a very righteous war and he, and he played a very small part in that. Well, if you look at him, mm. you know, there he is with his red berry, yeah. you know, his mm. airborne flash, Pegasus. So you can see how proud he is before yeah. Yeah, that he well, was an airborne lad. The family tradition is that he um, he got a train, he, obviously he was a, a Dubliner, you know, he was from Yes, Dubliner. yes, yeah. Um, he got a train when the war broke out. Now his, my father, his, uh, my granddad, his father, didn't want him to join, really was against it. And anyway, he got a train to Belfast yeah. uh, to join the RAF. He wanted to join the RAF. Right. Um, on the train, he met a friend. Right. And his friend said, you don't want to join the RAF, you want to join the Ulster Rifles. Right. And so they both went together right. to the uh, enlisting office. His friend was rejected. Oh. And he got in. Oh. Well, it is quite possible he was yeah. wounded three or four days before he passed away. Right. And, and the service record will show it that, it yeah. should have it should have something on that right. it should have something uh, about that it may not I can't promise it mm. but it'll give us a bit more details of his joining and training and everything where he went to yeah. and and right. actually where he was and it'll yeah. give us a bit more on that Brilliant. Uh, and we can see what right. happened um, right well thank you Gavin my pleasure so, so it's really a case of more questions than answers after that. Uh, brilliant meeting um, at the uh, Ulster Rifles Museum. Gavin uh, and the rest of the guys are really helpful and um, great to talk to um, about the regiment's history and also uh, their participation in, in D-Day. Um, still quite frustrating in that um, I don't know how uh, my uncle died still. I don't know what he was doing uh, or who, who he was engaging with uh, to kill him. So um, for that kind of information, we need to look at his service record.